Donc voilà, je suis un ambition. Mais malheureusement, je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu plus de Je suis un peu plus de Je suis un peu de temps. Je suis un peu plus de 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 Je suis un mais je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me faire des activités. Je ne sais je suis en train de me faire des Je de il y a un handicap. C'est très gênant. Je suis un peu plus de temps. Je suis un peu de temps. Je suis un peu plus 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 de temps. Je So I met Papa on the unit before surgery. He seemed quiet, but very hopeful. And uh, he always said he was okay. Every time we would ask him several times, because I was like, can we make sure Papa is okay? Because he's very quiet, he's not saying much. I I've never seen uh, the, the degree of tumors that we're seeing with this patient population. Some tumors are bigger than the patient's head and they're hanging off the neck. And we go and resect them and they come looking like a whole different person. Do you need uh, his to look at him this time? <laughs> Initially, he did have issues with uh, swelling, but as days progressed, he was a lot more interactive, a lot more active. He would go outside to the patio, he, will, uh, he was on his phone. No, je suis un peu de temps, je suis un peu de temps, je suis un peu de temps, je suis un peu de So when I found out that Papa worked on motorbikes, it's like, oh, I got a little possessive. There's still just a little bit of dried stuff that would be good if that all came off. We had a couple challenges to the healing process, which isn't totally unusual. It just takes time. The challenges were some wounds that wanted to pop back open. And so then they have to heal from the inside out. And so we just have to find the correct dressings to put on that promote that healing. And so there was a period of time where we were actually changing dressings twice a day. I, every time we hit a challenge, you could kind of see in his eyes, oh boy, I have to stay a little bit longer. I'd like to see it heal just a little bit more, but you are really, really close. He ended up staying longer than most would. Some guy, I'm not going to tell you to go back. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come down. Poor you know what I mean? I think he was really anxious to get home because I know he felt that responsibility of working and helping to provide. So as we got closer to the time, he was really anxious to go. I cannot imagine how this changes people's lives. Now they can live more comfortable, they can interact with their uh, families and friends freely without having to feel like they have this stigma of something that's unusually large on their face that everybody is looking at every time they look at them. Thank you.